Okay. So today, I'm going to talk a little bit about um, how to block uh, Wi-Fi's and cell phones and cell towers and stuff on radiations. Um, steps that I take, and if you've seen my other videos, you will see that I actually... Um, one of the bedrooms that I have, I actually have to dedicate one for them. Because sometimes, like I stated in my other video, that it is a sacrifice. And because I'm claustrophobic, um, I can't be in a, a small room all the time or in a small enclosure like this. Uh, if you see my other videos, my Faraday cage right there, I just put it out right now. And just to leave it so that way I can make this video. I also watch TVs in my cage as well. That also helps a lot. Um, that's actually an older TV. So, older TV. That's fluorescent light. And if you see my other videos, I talk about fluorescent light. Um, that actually helps a lot. It, it, it makes me have less sleepy. And then if you see my other videos, I have um, the uh, blocking for my windows. That's just the Myla right here that I have. Um, and I'm going to also show you another way to block and cheap and simple too. Is actually use tin foil. But remember, okay, the tin foil you cannot touch. Because touching the tin foil, everything absorbed to here, it doesn't really block. It actually absorbs to here. Radiation will attach itself to the tin foil, any type of metals. Um, so what you have to do is actually shape it. Okay, like this is, I have a head right here. But you have to shape it in a 100% a cotton. 100% um, cotton um, pillow case. That would be best right there. And then you have to see the line that I put there. You have to go over the eyes. I don't know what it is. Um, what they do is what they call like right here. This special area right here. It's called a third eye. And I don't know what it is. But um, it blocks. If you if, if, if you block it over the eye. And right this area. You get less headaches. Also another way. I'm going to put the video uh, down for a second. Sorry. Uh, I'm going to take it off here. If you don't, if you don't like being closed with tin foil like that, because remember, you remember you cannot touch the tin foil. I actually mod an X here. That's to show you that's where the eye, or they call it the third eye, but I think that's where your most of your processing is from the brain. No, I'm not 100% sure, so <laughs> please don't quote me on that. But anyway, another way that you can do, you can use one of these, and then you can put, you have to tip put tin foil over and this because it's plastic it it actually um, doesn't touch your your um, uh, your skin because remember tin foil has to be away from your skin you cannot touch your skin whatsoever please remember that okay or else you become an antenna yourself that's how you would protect and if you're wondering if you see my other video, that's my dog right there. He's right there. He ain't leaving. He stays in here all day. I'm telling you. It, he knows. Um, and being in here, like I stated in the video, it's like a sacrifice. And it is a big sacrifice. Because see how I use my computer? I have to move the wire in here and I should close it a little bit. Um, also, too... It's like whenever I am home and watching TV or whatever it is, that's what I do. I mean, if you look at it, you can see creases on the Faraday cage and stuff. And you have to watch through the, this, the, the, the crease of, 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 of this. And it stinks because you, you, you have a good TV. I have a nice TV or a computer. And I can't watch through except for watching through things like this. It stinks. More like, I don't even want to say it, but I don't even want to swear on this video because I, sh I shouldn't. Also, too, that you can protect yourself is these EMF paint right here that I left right there. That's EMF paint right there. 
and that can also shield your room as well so if you want um, I'll link that video to there so you know and no I don't advertise for them or anything I'm not I'm not associated with them or anything I'm just showing you how I protect myself I don't I am not against technology and I will never will be because it does give us you know instant things and like for me when I go shopping or something I need like the store hours and things like that I love it but I just can't have it because it actually attacks my my brain like attacks my head like I'm so sensitive that I don't think it's sensitivity uh, people said it's sensitivity but I don't think it's sensitivity I think it's because the more metals you have in your maybe in your your, your blood uh, because we all have it um, or maybe because my skull is thin than most people or maybe I don't have maybe I have more metals in my skull I'm I this is 100% speculation of course so please don't quote me on that either but I'm just saying that I'm trying to understand this myself trust me um, so maybe because of that and I absorb more than other people like I said, when a cell phone comes on and it within six feet, I can actually feel it six feet away. I get headaches. Unless you go seven or eight feet away, then I get a little, I get less headache. Like during right now, because I'm out inside, I can feel it right now. And as far as I know, there is no cell phone in the house right now. And I'm still being affected by it. <coughs> Sorry. I'm coughing. That's what it is. So I'm absorbing because I've been out. Like I'm when I'm at home, I actually just stay in here most of the time. Um, it is sad. And when I go outside, it's, it's some area I'm okay. But some area I'm not. And yes, it is sad. Um, the only... Uh, I would love to get like... Um, metal sheet like or metal um, uh, sidings that would be helpful that would be so awesome if you have metal siding to block your radiation but in my case I, I don't we don't so this is my alternative and yes I've been living like this for a long time and because of my health um, I get a lot better now I get let ha less headaches and um, I can't enjoy like normal people do. Um, I I just wish that I was like I wasn't affected like a lot like other people. But like I said, some people were being affected by it, and they probably don't even know it. That's the thing. And um, they probably got headaches and other symptoms and stuff like that, and they're coughing. That's another thing too. It makes you cough. Um, and they don't probably don't even know it. And LEDs and, 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 and cell phones. If you, if you hear a lot of people cough, but they don't know what the symptom is, try, if you find this video, make sure to, to tell them to alert them. It might be just the cell phones itself. Like something about cell phones and, and, and LED that makes me cough. Um, not only it gives me headaches, but it, it makes me cough. And unless I don't breathe. Uh, I find that I'm gearing towards too is that you, you you're breathing in the radiation and that's why like if you see videos uh, people going to like a, uh, like for instance I saw a video recently about Chernobyl um, they actually go in with a mask and actually that will work and also they actually they protect their private area with like big ass lead big piece of lead or like metal so they don't you know blah 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 and, I don't want to say, but you, you can research that on your own. Um, this is just for rated G um, audiences, so I have to keep some stuff away. But that's how, that's how I protect myself. And I protect myself like every day. Yes, I walk around with this hat on right here with this hat that I make. I just put it on here to make. This is just tin foil. And I, and I just shaped it. Like first, I shape it like this right here. Like for instance, I put it on here and I shape it like that. 
just like that and then I I put this here Oops. I put this here over my head I find it the corner right in this corner right here oops let me put this video down for a second sorry I have to like do a, a demonstration here that how I protect myself I put I and remember you have to have a a cotton okay it has to be cotton and I choose a corner like right here this would be my corner Right here, the, the, see the axe, that's where my head is. I choose that corner, that little tippy top right here. And then I put this over. Like that. And then I flip this over. Now I no longer touch whatsoever. See that? And if you want to go one more step further, you have to ground this. And how do you ground it? I actually have a grounding bracelet that I made for for um, uh, for grounding myself with. Uh, maybe I'll just make another video of how to make a grounding for your head as well. Um, but it's pretty easy how to do them. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll do that in another video. How to ground your hat. Your um, EMF hat, I guess you call it. But do you remember, okay? You cannot touch the... You cannot touch the, the tin foil. If you touch the tin foil, you become an antenna. And that's then there's no point of doing it. And then I also have a lot of these Myla blanket here that I put around. Um, I was thinking to make my walls gonna 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 use a duct not duct tape but double tape here and put it on my walls. That's what I'm planning next. I might do my whole walls with it, like all the surrounding right here, especially this area. Right here, um, this land X section because that's where most of the stuff comes in from here. That's from the uh, there's a cell tower like on this over here, so I have to protect over there. And then on this wall here, I might have to, to protect all over here. But as you know, signal will bounce, so why would it protect the whole thing? Another way is I can probably get that paint right there and paint the whole room. Uh, it's all black. You have to paint it and you have to ground it first. Once you ground it, and then you would be able to be okay. It's, 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 I know it's a pain to live this way, but that's, that's how I live. I mean, for other people, um, they're just lucky that they can't feel it, but although it's harming them, they just don't know it. But for me, I, I feel it every second of it, every milliseconds of it. So it's it's really hard to live this way. Um, it, it, it's 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 sad, and it is hard. But you can't do anything about it because you know I'm a nobody. I'm just a kid, um, and I'm I, I'm a nobody. So I can't really change the law. I can't do this. I can't do that. I mean, maybe after, maybe I can do something after when I go to law school. When I finish law school, which is about, I don't know, going to be at least eight years from now. But till then, probably things would change by then. But anyway, um, but after that, I mean, I can't, like I said, I'm just normal, a normal person. I can't really change anything. Even if I could, probably people wouldn't listen to me anyway. Um, like I said, my, even my own father thought I was crazy for saying it. Um... For saying that, you know, radiation's hurting me. Um, yeah, for some people, no. I'm, I, I'm actually grateful for you. I'm actually glad for you that you're not. It's not hurting you, but it's hurting me. Um, maybe I'm just aware of my own body, or maybe I'm just aware of my surroundings. Like I said, um, you have to be aware of your surroundings. Most most people just walk around and they're not aware of any of these stuff. I do. I, I feel my environment's affecting me. I can actually feel the cell phones being close to me. I can actually tell who have the cell phone on and who doesn't, uh, to be honest. And how high their, their dosage are. Like certain phones, like, uh, like, like um, for instance, um, 
Apple's iPhones, oh my god, those things are worse. Those things makes me hurt really bad. Certain I certain cell phones is not bad, but like I don't I find that i iPhones. Oh my god, I can't even stand iPhones. I would if you give me one of those, I probably just smash them all. That's how I how much I hate them. I don't care how much they cost either. But anyway, um, so this is just a short video that that's what I do um, to protect and these are just simple stuff that you can protect with just simple things um, another way that you can probably do is instead of building this right here people build them out of screen like Windows screen but I find a Windows screen you cannot ground metal grounding metal is actually it's it's actually gives a smell and probably people won't smell it, but I I can smell it, so I couldn't have it. Like grounding that tin foil right there for a certain moment. If you're sensitive to smell, you can actually smell it. There's something about it. I should make another video of that, of that too. But um, I don't like it when you ground it. There's some kind of odor that comes out of it. I don't know what it is. It enhances it somehow. Like it enhances aluminum smell. It's weird. I mean, I only. And when you take it off, I will know. When you put it on, when you ground it, I know. And yes, my dad tested me before. He thinks he used to think that I was crazy, was crazy for saying it. But he plug it into the ground. I can tell that when he's plugged in, I'm blindfolded. I'm he even close, like he even put um, Play-Doh in my ear so I couldn't hear because we didn't have no um, um, no earplugs or anything. He put Play-Doh in my ear. So that way I wouldn't be able to hear. And then he covered up my eyes. He he wrapped this thing all around me. So anyway, it was it was a day of testing to make sure that I wasn't like talking crap or whatever. You know what I mean? Like saying stuff. And and he tested me a lot of stuff that day. And that's how that's how. And I said, yeah, you can you can bring me uh, to MIT and ask them to 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 test me. Bring me to a research center and test me. I'll be gladly to do it for free. Um, but when you do, uh, make sure. And, and if I don't, if I fail, you can chop my head off. That's how confident I am about things. But anyway, um, I hope this video will be a little helpful to you. Um, I know you can't do like the Faraday cage because that costs a lot. But you can do other things like you can do the Mila and you can do the tinfoil. I know tinfoil hat is going to be so popular. Um, especially they're rolling out the 5G's and people are probably going to get headaches and they probably don't even know it. Headaches and health, a lot of health problems. Uh, coughing, um, like a lot of stuff. But anyway, and um, like I said, see, he's staying there all day, all night. He don't even come out. And that's why I had the video about my dog right there. But yeah, that's what he does. He stays in there all day. Look at him. He's enjoying it. And, and uh, that's the first thing right there. Even though I have this open a little bit. Um, I opened up a little bit to air it out during the day. But at night I close it in. And like right here. I air it out just like that. So I can air things out. During the night before I actually sleep. I actually put this on for like about an hour. And then that way all the radiations absorb. And then I go in so I can get full protection. Um, I don't use fans or anything. Sometimes I turn that fan on right there. But that fan really like. It makes a lot of noise. And he doesn't like it. Something about that fan that he doesn't like it either. He would leave. So I don't know if it enhances more when a fan is on. I try not to do it. If I put a big fan he does, he'll, he'll leave. I have to. I, I use these small little fans just to just to fan my my feet. That's it. Even in the hot hot weather, I can only fan my feet because I can't. I have an air conditioner there. Sometimes I turned it on, and then he would run into the the, the the blanket to cover himself. I don't know if that helps or not or not, but he does. He would run into that, and then I have another thing, um, which is sitting over there. I actually put that on top of him and, and, and it helps him not from leaving this cage. So I that I think I have to research about that. I don't I don't know if it does or not. I don't know if I should get a meter and then go in, but meter is expensive. 
I should go in here and then measure it and the blah blah blah. But like I will say it and I will say it again, this is not 100% protected. This probably uh, the megahertz on this um, from the manufacturer. Okay, I do not know 100% from the man. It's from the manufacturer, and it's rated uh, rated up to um, I believe 8,000 megahertz. Oh, no, 8,000, yeah, 8,000, so HG, so gigahertz, so uh, 8G, you would say, supposedly rated up to 8G. I am not 100% sure, I have not tested, but that's what this material is. Um, and by the way, I, I, I found out it's rayon and silver. Um, I should get a, a multimeter and measure it again to see if the continuity is still there because I washed it recently So I don't know if it lose continuity is or not or did it lose the silver when I do it or not But I'm I probably measure after this video to make sure that it's still in working order It does because it does makes me feel better uh, So I know it's working, but I wanted to you know as anybody else would always want to know working 100% um, but as for these here, I finally clipped them in. See that? I finally clipped these in. So it's like 100% protected now. Not 100%, but double protected. I clip it in here. See that? I used the extra piece that I have. So now it's double. Which is good. Because like I said, gamma rays and, and satellites, TVs and stuff is bombarding us. So it's kind of protected right there. So I kind of like see how... I could clip them together. I should I should have made it to double, but the, the expensive the the, the 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 material was so expensive. I didn't want it to like spend twelve hundred dollars for her. So anyway, I'm gonna end this video. But uh, this video is I was gaining towards is to help people further how to protect themselves from that. Um, you can probably make a Faraday cage out of Myla too. If you build them out of wood, you can do it. You would need some kind of something like breathable though, like this right here, like material like this. So maybe spend a few hundred dollars and then the rest will be it. Maybe that's another thing. Or you can make this as a sliding door. You can make them out of wood. It'll be cheaper. And then and then you can make a sliding door. The rest can be screens or the rest can be like mylar material. That would keep your cost down. If you don't want to spend like like I did, um, I spent like six hundred dollars just for the material alone. But if you don't want to go that route, I mean, you can probably go that route uh, and try to you make them out of wood and make a cage, and then and then add just maybe a little bit of these material in, so it's like a make it like a door, so that way it's so breathable, and make it like how the Japanese does it. They slide in and out these cubicles. Maybe that's what you can do. But that, that's just some ideas out there. I'm, I'm just throwing some ideas out there how to protect yourself. But like I said, you can protect yourself with just tin foils or mylar. That's a cheaper way right there. At least you can try. And I, I made the other video. You can make those into curtains too. Like attach that on the curtains on the other side. And then use that as a curtain. That would also work too. But anyway... I'm going to end this video and I hope this video will help you a little further.